Hey friends. Yet another hiatus, I know. And uh, I'm sorry about that. But there's been a reason for it. I just been really swamped at work. And I know that's like a really big excuse, but the reason why it was really impactful for me is because it forced me to gain a lot of weight. So I wasn't keeping up with jujitsu. I wasn't doing workouts. I wasn't keeping track of my diet like I normally did. So I did blow up to like 200 pounds. And for someone who's 5'10", that's not an ideal weight. 200 pounds is John Jones. That's not someone I want to fight. So um, I needed to come down to 160 like I'm normally, not only just because I didn't want to, you know, participate at that weight, but it also just made me a lot more lethargic and it just didn't really give me a lot of time because I would either be sleepy or, you know, that was always eating. Um, and sometimes that wasn't easy to do at the client side with how much I was there. However, I did need to make sure that I kept things in check. So. I went on a little bit of a focus to make sure that I was being healthy and back to normal. Um, so as a result, you know, not quite where I used to be, but it has opened up more time because I'm awake more often. And yeah, I've just kind of gotten into a regimen and routine that is easy to track and I can keep up with it. And now I can find the gaps to do things like this. Um, but this is not why I'm here. The, here, the reason why I'm here is because there has been something that came up recently um, with one of my friends that came in from Chicago. So he was wearing an, an old pillow that I was very uh, familiar with because he flies in from Chicago all for the client side every time. So he was wearing a turtle pillow. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I haven't used that in a while. But I did use this extensively when I did some of my trips to Central America. And I actually kind of liked it. Um, but we got in a conversation about our qualms with it, like it would overheat or it's too flimsy. Um, I mean, if you look at it, it's pretty simple. All it is is a fleece blanket with a removable sort of brace and you wrap it around your neck. And uh, yeah, you kind of just lean your head on it and it's supposed to support. Um, but the things that were the issue that we saw with it, it was this fleece blanket got really hot so you'd overheat. Um, and this sort of structure here isn't built for all sizes. So if you're tall or small, this may not be ideal for you. And over time, this thing sort of broke down. Like this is not really comfortable anymore. But the idea of it was wonderful because of the fact that it was really portable um, and it was really headphone compliant. Like with my over ear headphones, I could still use this. And that was always an issue for me with some of the other bigger pillows that you'd see here, like the, was it Caribou? Yeah, the Caribou, the one that you see in the airport all the time, the $40 pillow. And this came in at a little slightly cheaper price point. However, there were those qualms. So like after my trip to Central America, kind of got rid of it. I just threw it in the back. Before this review, I found it again. Um, however, it did pique my interest in understanding, do I need another pillow? Because I got some trips coming up. But also, did has Turtle really stayed the same? And I found that they haven't. So they have kind of brought out a new pillow. And that's what I want to review today, is I want to show the Turtle 2.0. And there's a lot of cool things about this. So let's check it out and see how it's like. Boop. The Turtle Pillow Plus has an improved material that is lighter, more breathable, and more dirt resistant. It still has a strong Velcro grip to keep it all in place, but the new material is more stretchy and forgiving for added comfort. The new mesh zones help with overheating and also provide for better fit and adjustability. But in reality, the biggest change between the Turtle Plus and the original version is the ability to adjust the back and the front to different heights. And this really helps you position your head in the way that's most comfortable. And I think this is the reason why most people would upgrade to this pillow. The toggles can be turned to ratchet in smaller adjustments or pushed in to make larger, faster changes. The Turtle Plus also implements much more cushioning to assist with support and comfort. While in the 1.0, you could feel the stint against your head, the added cushioning in the Turtle Plus distributes the weight better as well as reduces those pressure points drastically. The Turtle 2.0 maintains the small shape and form factor as the Turtle 1.0, but does have the added benefit of a waterproof carrying case, making it extremely easy to carry along, especially with that extra carabiner on the side. 
While we've established that Turtle Plus has a lot of advantages over the original Turtle, to me the real question is if this works better than traditional pillows. It definitely is a lot more breathable and supportive than the other pillows that you'd find. I've noticed feeling a lot less crappy coming out of planes, and that's great. However, depending on your use case, you may need to see if it works with your earrings and your headphones. If you don't wear earrings that often and you use earbuds, you're probably safe here. But if you love your earrings and your over your headphones, your results may vary. The added cushioning, while more comfortable, does add some complications that the Turtle 1.0 didn't have. Due to the extra thickness on one side, it puts a lot more pressure on your ears and will suck if you're wearing earrings with sharp backings. The added thickness also makes it hard to adjust the headphones in an ideal way. If your headphones have a slide slash non-ratchet style fitting, then you may find this fit less secure. If your headphones have specific quirks like the Neurophone shown here, it's going to be really uncomfortable and annoying. If your headphones have touch controls, it might be impacted depending on the sensitivity of those touch controls. Again, these Neurophones were not very happy with this pillow. However, if your over ears utilize tactile buttons and are on the sleeker side of the spectrum of headphones, then the turtle pillow may be more beneficial for you. So should you actually buy the Turtle Plus? And with that comes a ton of considerations, especially because the Turtle Plus comes at double the price of the original Turtle. Um, so one of those few considerations are gonna be your sleeping style. Are you hot sleeper or are you cold sleeper? Cold sleepers, this will be perfect. It's a freaking scarf. For your hot sleepers, I know there's a lot of technology in here that says that it'll help with the ventilation and it's definitely more breathable than the original Turtle. However, because it's so stretchy and so thin, those sort of panels that help you ventilate will be shut over longer flights because of the fact that it's so stretchy and this whole pillow kind of returns the shape based on the materials that are used. So if heat is an issue for you, it's something you better try because it may not ventilate in the way that you're expecting it to. And then the other thing is if you're a current turtle user or not. Current turtle user is a very familiar experience. You get some additional pillow, so you might like it more. However, if you're not, you might find this really claustrophobic. I've had some of my friends try it on their flights and it was just a weird sensation for them that I used to and they didn't like how it felt. Um, but for other people that are used to it or people that, again, are cold sleepers, this was perfect. So it's really to each his own. And then obviously it comes down to the whole comfort versus headphone thing for me at least. So this thing has helped my neck issues a ton. Like it has so much support. Um, I like that fact that it's so much more adjustable than the old one. And it seems like it'll hold up a little bit better. So my neck has been in a much better state. I don't have as much issues with it cracking and all those other things. But it almost came as in like, I had to sacrifice that for like almost sanity. So only certain headphones work with this, as I mentioned before, like my Neurophones and my Sonys don't really work due to their designs, but like earbuds or my Bowers and Wilkins P7s work a little bit better because one fits in the ears and one's sleeker. Um, but the downside with that is that they don't have active noise canceling. And you know, like if you're flying a lot, you kind of need to zone out the crying babies and really get into your podcast and just like take away that, that noise of the airplane. And that just really, for me, is sanity in my travel. So not having that is sometimes the burden, especially on longer flights. So short flights, I do use the shuttle just to sort of, because I, I don't have to use my best headphones. But on longer flights like Seattle, I would love to use my active noise cancelings, but they're just not as compliant as the original turtles because of that extra cushioning. So it's really hard for me to pick um, and really hard for me to make a recommendation here. But for me, it's been worth it for the support. It's just, I wish I could have a little bit more flexibility. So it's something for me to recommend, definitely try it. It's something that you should explore as an option and you know buy it on Amazon, maximize the return period and really see if it fits your lifestyle and the needs of your sleep because it can definitely benefit you, but just make sure it doesn't, you don't have to like caveat or sacrifice in other areas. I'm definitely keeping it around. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more to see if I can find the right setup for my everyday use, but it's comfortable enough that I have to give it a shot over some more time. So yeah, 
That's basically all I have to say. But I do appreciate that you guys have been sticking around so long. I have noticed that you guys have still been commenting on my videos, still liking them, still subscribing. And that's extremely surprising to me because I have been absent as hell. And I appreciate, I apologize for that. Um, even some of you guys have dropped me a message or left a comment to see how I'm doing. <laughs> that's super, super sweet of you. Um, I'm okay, don't worry about it. I'm fine, I'm lighter, I'm less lethargic, I'm less stressed. So it's giving me more time to hopefully talk to you guys a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I have a ton of things to catch up on. Um, while I have been away, doesn't mean I haven't been shooting. I have a ton of film around like headphones, backpacks and things like that that I had to catch up on. So I'm hoping to get into those things, do the voiceovers, slap the footage together and get some more content out to you guys. But uh, I'm always open for suggestions. So if you have something in mind, headphone that you might want to know about, backpack you want to know about, throw it in the back of the comments and I will try to get to it um, after we get through all of what I have left over. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been kind of nice doing this over again. My editing skills need a little brushing up on, but hopefully they'll come back with time. But uh, yeah, uh, please consider liking the video. Please consider subscribing and keeping me honest to my schedule. But you know, as always, I appreciate you guys. Later.